I would like to give you an insight on how Go was born for us. We had this idea of creating this component marketplace. That started internally because we were using uh, different repositories for, uh, for our components. That started also externally because our customers were asking for a community, were asking for a place to put their components for a place to get their components and to, to be able to use them. We officially launched this one year ago. And we started from, I think, 60, 70 reusable components. So when your iPad came to us uh, a little, little over a year ago to say, hey, do you guys want to participate in being a launch partner for the Go Marketplace? You're like, hey, we didn't have to think twice about that. We're like, that's a great facility um, or platform for ourselves, but also to give back to the community and demonstrate our technical capabilities and expertise. The Go Marketplace, I mean, one of the things we're one of the biggest contributors, which is uh, great for us, uh, but even greater for you because what that enables is a further democratization of RPA. So it allows people to reuse components, which is one of the elements should be a general principle um, that you should follow in, in, in a deployment anyway to so say you have a central code repository. But the Go Marketplace is a very beneficial element that plays into here um, as well to support that entire automation lifecycle from you know, having an idea on automation all the way into operation and, and running that process. Um, so the Go Marketplace comes in quite handy here to re com use components that are you know, uh, at high quality, um, standardized, and are, can then be used in a consistent manner across the, um, the entire board. Um, and that, that only leads to is that the higher quality elements, but also to fast deployment. Yeah, you know, for me, it's, it's really important that the uh, uh, democratization of, of RPA is really about people, right? I have a, um, a personal feeling that um, we as RPA leaders have uh, a bit of a social responsibility to be able to upskill uh, our folks in, autom in uh, uh, operations and, and give them the opportunities to grow, especially in this RPA space. Um, it's really great for us from a, from a company perspective to grow internally and get people that know these uh, operational processes uh, to uh, take the next step and become technologists. Uh, and it's also, it's really good for them and their careers and things like that. We hear, uh, we hear from our clients all the time, can you go faster? Of course. Of course, right, <laughs> UiPath Go, that's how we do it. We're trying to go faster. So uh, this, uh, this product speeds everything up for us. Uh, when you look at these types of things across different industries, the process is relatively the same. And so if you can build bots using all of these reusable components to attack those, what I would call uh, usual business process issues, uh, it, uh, it really helps us speed things up. So we're really excited to use this. I think it's going to be, uh, it, it's hitting right the sweet spot that we need for reusability, and uh, we're really excited about uh, adding more to this, uh, to this particular library. Similar to the citizen developer model, what it really allowed us using the Go Marketplace platform is to collect feedback on a global scale that was almost unthinkable before. So mm -hmm. it helped us to make the components, the products that we have on there, significantly better at a faster speed than it would have been in a, you know, in a more isolated fashion. So I think that's for us, you know, having that exchange and getting that feedback uh, been the sort of the, one of the parts we like the most about it.